Hello everybody. Today we will see the continuation part of vector grouping. We already discussed in part 1 some of the basics which are very much essential to understand vector grouping. So before you watch this video, I strongly recommend you to watch part 1 also. Corresponding links are given here. Now, in part 1 we have seen different connections of high voltage winding. So, three phase transformer can be made in six different possibilities. I mean, three phase winding can be made in six different possibilities. Okay, so we have seen that in part one. Now, in this lecture, we will see for those different high voltage connections. If we include low voltage winding also, then how the phase angle will be? That is what actually is vector grouping. Which means vector grouping is done based on the angle between high voltage windings phase to neutral induced EMF and low voltage windings phase to neutral induced EMFs. Don't worry, it will be more clear. We represent normally these vector grouping with clock convention. This is what the commercial notation also or clock convention. Or people say commercial notation. These are normal regular clock. Now we take two needles in this from this clock. We will take minute needle and hour needle. Minute needle represents the high voltage winding vector hover needle represent low voltage winding vector here if you see this is minute needle which is longer high voltage hover needle which is shorter so low voltage but the angle between these two is 180 degrees which means instead of saying 180 degrees, I will say 6 o'clock. Next, I will say another number. This is high voltage winding vector and this is low voltage winding vector. The angle between these is 60 degrees. And here, a low voltage winding is leading the high voltage winding by 60 degrees. So, this is 60 degrees leading. Who is leading? Low voltage winding is leading. Or simply we will say 10 o'clock. Next. In here. So both high voltage and low voltage are in phase. So we will call it as 0 degrees or 12 o'clock. Some people also call this one as 0 o'clock. So likewise depends on the position of low voltage vector and high voltage vector which will be compared with the clock convention and they give the commercial notation. Okay. With these basics, we can enter into actual vector grouping. 
and in this vector grouping we'll have total 26 combinations which means we can connect three phase transformer in 26 different manners so this represents first letter represents capital letter as we have seen in part one capital letter represents high voltage winding so my high voltage winding is of star connection low voltage winding is also a star connection because a small y and here high voltage winding is of delta connection low voltage winding is of star connection here high voltage winding is of star connection low voltage winding is of delta connection so with each and every connection three phase connection we can get different phase angles different phase angles we'll get we'll see how it's possible so here y y 0 y y 6 y y 0 means we have seen already the angle between high voltage and low voltage winding is 0 degrees or clock rotation is 12 o'clock or y y 6 star star 6 means 180 degrees here we can get four different combinations here dy1 dy1 means low voltage sorry high voltage winding is here 12, 12 at number 12 low voltage winding is at 1 which means low voltage winding is lagging the high voltage by 30 degrees okay. likewise now we'll see that we'll see how to identify this number which is very crucial be more attentive now let's see one of the connection of star 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 means my high voltage also is star and low voltage also is star like this this represents a high voltage connection of a three phase transformer and this is a low voltage connection of a three phase transformer of the same three phase transformer now we know for this high voltage how to draw the corresponding vector diagram we discussed this in part one that's why i'm saying which is very important you must refer to part one lecture also now as we have seen part one if high voltage winding high voltage a phase winding is like this low voltage a phase winding also will be in the same phase in the same way low voltage windings b phase also will be in the same phase of high voltage winding b phase similarly c phase also i hope you understand this clearly now if you see here a1 b1 c1 are shorted if this is a2 this will be a1 if this is b2 terminal this will be b1 similarly c1 so we have a1 b1 c1 now from this connection it is clear a1 b1 c1 are shorted so here also let's connect these three together yes now from the concept of phasor grouping from the idea of phasor grouping that is high voltage windings phase to neutral induced emf and low voltage winding phase to neutral induced emf let's compare those two you can take any one phase i am considering a phase you may take b phase you may say t, you may take c phase so we'll take i'm taking now here a phase now let's represent this in our clock notation so high voltage and low voltage are in the same phase 
so we'll call it simply y y zero y y zero connection so as we know y means star d means delta z means zigzag star that's a special connection that we'll see in the next part next part of the lecture okay so this connection represents y y zero let's move on to the next connection now same star star but instead of shorting a1 b1 c1 i shorted now a2 b2 c2 so whatever it is shorted low voltage winding a phase will be in the same phase of high voltage winding a phase let's take same way b phase the same way c phase now their respective a1 b1 c1 now from this connection low voltage winding connection a2 b2 c2 are shorted so here let's join a2 b2 c2 a2 b2 c2 are joined now from the definition of phase diagram sorry from the definition of phase grouping we need to compare phase to neutral voltage of the of one phase either a phase or b phase or c phase let's consider a phase now let's represent these two in our clock So what is the angle here? 180 degrees or you may say y y 6 okay next let's look at delta now if you understand those stars in the same way we will proceed for all other connections For the high voltage part, we discussed in the part 1 lecture, which you can see. Now, corresponding low voltages, as we know, A phase of high voltage and A phase of low voltage will be having no phase displacement, just like that. Same way B phase also same way c phase also and their corresponding a1 b1 c1 are as shown now if you look at this connection a2 is connected to c1 so let's connect a2 to c1 and C2 is connected to B1. So let's join A2 and A1. Sorry. A2 and C1. C2 and B1. B2 and A1. We need to join these. Let's join them. A2 C1 C2 B1 B2 A1 we join this now the connection terminals are A2 B2 C2 are the connection terminals so let's ignore other terminals let's ignore the terminals other than A2 C2 B2 so this is the final form but now as we know vector grouping is the phase displacement between phase to neutral induced emfs but we have a delta here so we cannot get neutral so as we know we discussed in part one we can form 
a virtual neutral so these are the corresponding virtual neutrals of this is for high voltage and this is for low voltage now as this is connected to a2 so this is a winding as this is connected to a2 this is also a wind now let's represent this in our clock now this is called as dd0 okay now you can apply the same concept for all other connections which i will just roll here you can follow the slides and try to understand for other connections also okay so this is how you can try all of the connections i hope you understand the vector grouping there are some special connections which i'll discuss in the next video lecture thank you for watching